Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strong of the Cast Iron Cookware channel, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. Today I'm going to talk about something that's really been a great big help for me, and that is cast iron cookware Facebook groups. I'm going to talk about a few of them that has been really helpful to me, and also some of the things that you need to know when you navigate those groups. And we're going to be doing that coming right up. Okay, before we get started, I just want to say, if you enjoy the videos on this channel and would like to see more, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise to keep more of them coming. So let's talk about Facebook groups. When I first started collecting cast iron cookware, I was clueless. I didn't have any idea where to start, where to find the pieces, or even how to identify the pieces. I just had a few simple ideas, and that's it. So one of the first things that I did is I got on Facebook and I joined some cast iron cookware Facebook groups. And I tell you what, there's a few of them that has really been helpful to me. And I just want to share some of those with you. But before we get started, I just want to say a lot of these groups are really, really careful about how they educate people when it comes to cast iron cookware. One thing I say, these groups, they really try to help you learn how to restore cast iron the correct way. So if you go on there and you're talking about wire wheels and fire cleaning, you're not going to stay in the group very long. I can just tell you that. Because those are methods that you do not want to use on cast iron cookware. So most of these groups take the approach of conservative restoration. They want to make sure the pieces are going to be around for generations to come. We are just keepers of these collections that we have. So basically we are just temporary custodians of the pieces that we collect because we want to pass them on to another generation to enjoy and collect and then pass them along again. So when you're in these groups, you don't want to talk about things like wire wheeling and sandpapers uh, resurfacing and those kinds of things because those are detrimental to the collectability of cast iron cookware. Another thing, when you go to a group and you're new to a group, first of all, you go to the group and you click to join a lot of times you can join immediately, then other times you have to wait until an admin or a moderator or someone in the group lets you in. Now sometimes you can take a person who's already in the group, they can go ahead and introduce you to the group and you can become a member that way. All groups are different. But I can say this, when you're new to a group, go in, you know, read and watch. You know, I wouldn't even post anything right off the bat. I tell you what, I've learned so much by just reading and watching and just checking out what other people have to say. There is a wealth of information to learn on these groups. First of all, once you do join a group, the first thing you want to do is read the rules. Every group has their own rules. Most of them talk about being adults and making sure the language is, is clean for families, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. And they don't want any drama. Now, you do see drama occasionally, but it usually gets cut pretty short by the administrators of the group because they're trying to keep the group fun and educational. So you want to read the rules, make sure you know what all the rules are. A lot of the groups will even ask you to agree to the rules. So if you break the rules consistently, you'll probably get a timeout or maybe even get booted off the group. And sometimes that's necessary if someone is really causing problems because these groups are to be fun and educational. And that's why I really enjoy them so much. I'm probably a member of about 25 different groups. Some I don't watch as regular and some I do. So let me just talk to you a little bit about some of my favorite groups. When it comes to just the general cast iron community, uh, one of my favorite groups is cast iron community. It's a pretty large group and there's a lot of people on there who love cast iron cookware. They love talking about it asking questions, answering questions, showing pictures of their cast iron, some of their creations that they've cooked in cast iron cookware, and it is an awesome group. And the admins are really nice. I've never had any negativity from any one of them, and they are just awesome. I've learned so much from that group. There's another group, it's called Cast Iron Cooking. If you're more into the cooking side of it, that is a great group for you to join. They are awesome, you, there's a lot of recipes, there's people there who's willing to help you with a recipe. So you had a piece that didn't turn out right. You can ask questions and you can get a lot of answers. You know, I've had a few pieces that hasn't turned out right either. So 
that is an awesome group to be involved in as well. There's a, another group that I use quite a bit. It's called Cast Iron Cookware Identification. A lot of times I'll run across a piece. I don't have a clue who made it, where the origins are. You can take a picture of the piece of cast iron. And I would say this, take a good picture of the entire back and another picture of the entire front. And I guarantee you within minutes, you'll have people jumping on that and saying, I know what that is. That's a Wagner 19 whatever. That's a, a Birmingham Stove and Range Red Mountain. It was made in the 50s. Or you'd be surprised how much help you can gain from that group. Even if you don't post pictures or ask questions, you can just go down through there and read all the posts. Look at the pictures and you'll learn so much about cast iron cookware. In a lot of these groups, you can also go to the files. I would say before you start asking a lot of questions, go ahead and read the files because a lot of those questions are already answered. You can go into the files and read the files of the group. There's a wealth of information there as well. Another little trick that I usually do is I'll go to the search group. If I'm looking at a piece, say a Birmingham Stove and Range, say I've got a little bit of information that I've kind of gleaned. Say I know the maker or I know a little bit of something about the question that I'm asking. I can go into the search section of the group and type in Birmingham Stove and Range. And you'll get a wealth of information just on Birmingham Stove and Range. If you're looking at a favorite skillet with a Smiley logo, you can just type in Smiley logo and you'll be surprised. You'll find a lot of information. Or it's Monday morning for a Martin Stove and Range. Just type in Monday morning and you'll get all kinds of information where people have asked questions before you about those pieces. And I tell you what, I've learned a lot like that. Even identifying pieces, questions that other members have already asked and other members have answered. And I'm telling you what, it's like a reference library that is gigantic. Let's go on to another group that I have found extremely helpful, and that is electrolysis tank builders. If you're out there and you're looking to build an electrolysis tank, or you're interested in electrolysis tank building, or even uh, building a lie tank, there's information all over that page. What kinds of chargers to use, what kind of uh, solution to use, what kind of wattage or amperage that you should use, uh, what kinds of metals can be good, what kind of metals can be bad, what's the way to hang your piece in the electrolysis solution. There is a wealth of information there as well. If you're interested in a specific type of cast iron, there's another Facebook group called Lodge and BSR Cast Iron Group. Now, if you're interested in Birmingham Stove and Range and Lodge, that group has a wealth of knowledge just for those particular makers. And uh, the admins in those groups are awesome too. I can tell you this, that a lot of admins in one group are also admins in the other group. And a lot of members that you'll run across in one group are in the other group as well. So you have a community that winds up growing and you become part of that community. And that is one of the most awesome things about collecting cast iron cookware. I've said it so many times in the past, one of the things that I try to do is make connections. And there's tons of connections to be made in these groups. I've made friends in these groups that I'm sure will last the rest of my life. And those connections are awesome. There's another group that's that I really like is part of, I believe, the cast iron community group, and it's the uh, cast iron community sales. You can go to cast iron community sales and you can post pictures of pieces that you're selling. You can also look for pieces that you'd like to purchase. Most of the time you can purchase these through PayPal. That's usually the preferred mode of transaction, whether you're selling or buying. You can even get an idea how much pieces are worth. Not to mention that there's another group called how much is my cast iron worth? Which if you've got a piece that you're really interested in and you want to sell it or maybe you just want to know the value of it, you can post a picture there and you'll get answers from the community telling you what they believe the piece is worth. Uh, mentioning buying and selling cast iron cookware, another group that I really enjoy, and I probably, as far as sales are concerned, I spend more time with that group than any other, and that group is Iron Man Cast Iron Auctions. Now, you can go on there and believe it or not, you don't have to buy or sell. You can learn so much. You can learn how much the pieces are worth. You can kind of learn what's rare and what's not so rare. 
you can just look at the prices and see what they're going for. And you'll learn a lot just by the descriptions of the pieces. For you folks out there that have been using Buzzy Wax, and I just say this, Buzzy Wax is my personal preference. Now, there are other cast iron seasoning oils that are awesome, but uh, my personal preference is Buzzy Wax. Now, Buzzy Wax has a group as well. And they do that so that people who restore their pieces can put them on and kind of show them off. And also, they're there to help with questions. So that group is just called Buzzy Wax. So check them out, a nice group to be a part of, especially if you're into the Buzzy Wax cast iron seasoning, because you can learn a lot about temperatures and time in the oven. That's really gonna be helpful for you if you're using Buzzy Wax, or even any other type of seasoning, by the way, because the techniques are pretty much the same across the board. There's a group that I really like, that uh, there's a lot of fun, and it's called Cast Iron Mafia Cooking and Collecting. Now, it's fun, and they, they have a lot of fun on there. And they do giveaways and different things, so that's another group that I really like, Cast Iron Mafia Cooking and Collecting. There's another group that I didn't even think about while I was trying to do my bunt cake, and there's a group called Cast Iron Bunt Bakers Anonymous. And if I'd have thought about that group when I was making my bunt cake, my bunt cake would have probably turned out a lot better. But uh, that is a great group, and they'll help you as far as helping you learn how to use your bunt pans. They're a, a, a nice little group. They're not as big as some of the others, but their group is really specific. But I can say this, if you're into cast iron cookware, you may wanna go ahead and go to Facebook and type in cast iron cookware or even cast iron. You'll have all these groups pop up and you can check them out one by one, decide if you like them. You know, you can uh, go ahead and decide which ones that you want to join. But the ones that I mentioned first are the ones that kind of got me started. And if you're interested in joining any of these groups, just go ahead and check them out. So I hope that you find that these groups are as helpful to you as they have been to me because they have really been a great help. So check them out. If you're a member of a group that you really enjoy, maybe one that I haven't mentioned here, go ahead and mention it in the comments. I love to know about it. I believe I know about most of them, but I'm guaranteeing there's some out there that I don't know about. And if you have recently joined a group and you've learned a lot, go ahead and put that group in the comments too. Say, I have joined this group and I really love it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found that it's informative. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be informed of new videos when they come out. I try to put one out at least every week. And I'm gonna to try to ramp up and get a little bit aggressive in the near future and do two a week. So you don't want to miss out on any of those. And I appreciate you so much for watching Cast Iron Cookware.